The Coast Fish Project focuses on establishing a framework in which local fisherfolk, their organizations and fisheries authorities can work together to manage fishery resources around coral reefs for sustainable use. A two-day seminar in St. Lucia, including a tour of the pilot communities of Labry and Soufre, was convened to enable stakeholders to compose good co-management practices, define the issues fisherfolk face with marine managed areas, and also clarify the point of encouraging fishers' participation in the pilot activities. Deputy Director of the Caribbean Regional Fisheries Mechanism, CRFM, Sandra Grant, says the Coast Fish Project, currently in its preparation phase for the pilot activities to be rolled out in each country, will look to establish marine managed areas, research and monitoring activities, and restore the coastal ecosystem. She notes that the project is in keeping with CRFM's mission to promote and facilitate responsible and sustainable use of fisheries resources. The CRFM has been and continues to coordinate fisheries co-management in the region, a process where government and resource users share the responsibility and authority for man management of aquatic resources. Our commitment to co-management practices and principles is stated in the CRFM Strategic Plan 2022 to 2030, Strategic Objective 1.1D, which states active development and application of co-management and community-based management practices. In acknowledging the growing number of challenges in the fishery sector, such as habitat degradation and loss, decline in fish stocks due to increased marine pollution, and increased competition among users for limited marine space and resources, Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, states that the Cabinet of Ministers has approved St. Lucia's National Fisheries Policy to guide planning and development. Minister Prosper says joint efforts with partner agencies like JICA and CRFM are of paramount importance as it supports the implementation of the strategies outlined in the policy. In order to show sustainable progress over the long term, countries of the region will need to make a concerted effort to collaborate in the management of our valuable marine and coastal resources, taking into consideration the migratory nature of many of our marine resources, our limited financial, human, technical and technological resources and the added strength of integration and unity among other factors. However, as a region, we have already made significant strides and in general, we have recognized that sustainable use, improved self-sufficiency and effective management of our marine and coastal resources can only be achieved when the benefits to present and future generations include biodiversity conservation, food security, and economic and social well-being. Activities that involve both environmental and resource protection remain a priority for the government of St. Lucia as the Agriculture Ministry moves to encourage improvement in the livelihoods of fisherfolk by promoting sustainable development within the agriculture sector. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.